Hi there. Today I'm going to be showing you another set of learning cubes from Hope Education. So these cubes focus on length and weight. So there is one cube that purely looks at um, weight and asks lots of questions about weight and the other one asks lots of questions about length. So these cubes are definitely fantastic for using as part of your home education or home learning activities. They can be easily used with objects around the house and I'm going to give you another close up look at these next. So here we have our learning cubes that are all about length and weight. So we're going to have a closer look at the questions that are on each of these cubes. So this one here is all about weight. So it has questions like find two objects, which one's heavier, find an object that is light, find an object that is heavy, find two objects that are the same weight, sort the items from light to heavy, find two objects, which one is lighter. And then on this one, which is all about length, we have find an object that is long, find two objects, which one is longer, find two objects equal in length, find an object that is short, find an object that is long, find an object that is double the length of another object, find two objects, which one is shorter. Now you can see that these length and weight cubes have a lot of um, different vocabulary on it that is fantastic for developing children's um, talking ability about things like equal, length, weight, longer, shorter, head. So these length and weight cubes are fantastic for using as part of um, your home learning. So we're going to have a little go at how to use these just now. Now the reason why they're so great is they actually can be used with any objects that are found around your house. And obviously when we do go back to school, um, they're going to be super useful for um, in the classroom as well because it can be used for obviously a number of uh, classroom objects as well. So let's have a little go at maybe using the weight cube. So it says, find an object that is light. So obviously you'd be asking your child to maybe think about what the word light means and then they would maybe go off for a little search around their house to find something that is light. So for me, I maybe went off and found a pen. Let's have another little go at rolling the weight cube. So this is actually a really good activity. This one, sort the items from light to heavy. So maybe have a little chat with your child about you know what light means, what heavy means. Go off and find a selection of objects and then you'll be asking them to sort out them, them in the order from light to heavy. So just say I have here a pen, maybe the apple and maybe a spoon. So then you would then, with your child, and, or maybe on their own, they can sort out the objects from light to heavy and you would maybe ask them to think about how would they figure out which one is light, which one is heavy. And then we would put them in order. So now let's have a little go at using the length cube. So we have landed on find an object that is long. So maybe go off around the house again and find a long object. So I don't actually have anything here right now that is long, so maybe I might just use our spoon as it's a longish object. Then we'll roll the dice again. Oops, landed on the same thing. Let's do it again. So find two objects that are equal in length. So again, you'll be discussing with your child what the word equal means and um, off we go around the house and find two things that are equal in length, so the same length. So for me, I'd maybe go off and find two pens and I'd maybe I'd be asking them as well to talk about how do we know that they're equal in length, what we're going to do to figure out you know, that they are the same length. And I am, um, so yeah, so these weight and length cubes are great for um, encouraging a lot of talking and listening about um, length and weight as well. So these length and weight cubes are also great for helping children develop their ability to read measurements as well. So I'm just going to have a little look at how we can use the length cube to help them read um, rulers. So maybe we would have a look at one of the activities such as find two objects, which one is shorter. So here I have a pen and a spoon. So obviously at first children can do this just by looking at them by eye or by laying the two objects together to determine which one is the longer and the shorter object. However, they can also do it using our ruler. So here we go, we've got our um, 
a ruler here so you can ask the child to measure the first object and then decide how long that is so say about 17 centimeters then measure their second object this one's about 15 centimetres and then obviously that gives them the answer that the spoon is the longer object and the pen is the shorter object.